What's up guys? This is uh, Ty Zen, and in this video guys, I want to um, uh, make an announcement and share something new with you guys uh, about the NXT uh, community and the NXT platform. Uh, they are about to release what's called NXT 2.0. Now, for many of you guys who are new to the cryptocurrency world, investing world, there are two original uh, Bitcoin 2.0 projects okay that pretty much all the, the the Bitcoin everyone in the Bitcoin community agrees with the first one is called uh, and when we talk about Bitcoin 2.0 that's all the cryptocurrencies that came out after um, Bitcoin came out the first one the, the when Bitcoin came out there was a bunch of other clones that came out like Litecoin doggy coin there, there's a bunch of them but they were all uh, software that was copied from the Bitcoin software and they just changed the transaction speeds and a couple of features and benefits in their software however at the time of, uh, uh, of um, Bitcoin 2.0 they termed this for for any cryptocurrency that was completely different it did not clone uh, it was not a clone of the Bitcoin software it was a completely uh, rebuilt uh, brand new built from scratch software okay the first Bitcoin 2.0 project was uh, known as Nextcoin later on it evolved to just Next and then later on it evolved to NXT okay and that's what it's known as now is NXT and they have been lurking in the bushes um, for the past couple of years ever since the fall of Mount Gox and everything and it hasn't gained the traction that is needed because Ethereum um, uh, has taken the, 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 the limelight, okay? Now, Ethereum is the second uh, authentic uh, Bitcoin 2.0. It came out after, uh, it came out like in um, July of 2014, and the NXT came out in December, January of 2013, 2014, right at the beginning the end of 2013 and the beginning of 2014 and those are the two I would not say at that time it looked like it was a competing uh, Bitcoin 2.0 project but it hasn't uh, it's not really competing because the way they approach uh, the different financial problems are completely different okay the way that they approach it now Ethereum has been in the limelight for the past couple of years okay and especially with you know now that it's a billion dollar uh, market cap and and the value of their network is over a billion dollars it's gotten a huge amount of spotlight however during this time uh, NXT and the people in the NXT community right have been lurking in the bushes operating under the radar and they have taken a completely different approach to raising money to uh, getting funding for their project and so um, in a different video, I'll talk about why I believe that NXT is the most lucrative and the most successful and the most uh, uh, successful cryptocurrency project on the market uh, since Bitcoin. Okay, because they only started with five, uh, a total of 21 Bitcoins to fund their entire project, and their project went as high as 70 million dollars in market cap. Okay, now it's worth, you know, uh, a few days ago before the big spike in price. Um, it was worth uh, over seven million. So even then, if you take the amount that um, that Bitcoin, I mean that NXT raised, which is five bitcoins, versus the, the, the I mean the twenty-one bitcoins that NXT raised versus the eighteen million dollars that was raised by uh, by uh, the Ethereum uh, team in the community, um, if you measure in dollar terms, I believe that NXT has the bigger, higher success rate. Okay, now. They are about to reinvent themselves. NXT is very good at whenever they see something that is new. They came out with some really new stuff. They were the first and uh, uh, one to have a 100% complete proof of stake uh, algorithm. Okay, a consensus algorithm. Okay, uh, and basically that's the algorithm that is used to secure the entire NXT network. Now there are others like PeerCoin that came out that was a hybrid of proof of work and proof of stake, but NXT was the first uh, cryptocurrency to have a 100% uh, proof of stake security system. Okay, and now Ethereum is talking about adopting that as well, and pretty much all the cryptocurrencies that are coming out nowadays 
adopt some form of proof of stake. And I want you guys to know that NXT was the original one that had the original one and it's been working successfully since the end of 2013. Now, they have been under the radar and most people have not heard about them, okay? Because they've been focusing on um, on developing in the background, all right? They've been focused on development in the background and what happens is um, the um, now they're about to come up with a really, I, what I believe to be an awesome new version of NXT and they call it NXT 2.0 and it's called uh, the, the, the code name or the nickname for it is called Ardor, spelled A-R-D-O-R. -R. And what Ardor means is the, um, it means burning in Spanish, okay? So at this point, I would like to say, to go on the record to say that um, there's one thing that NXT is very, very good at. They are very good at coming up with the strangest, weirdest, and hardest names to pronounce, say, and to understand what it means, okay? So I give them the gold medal on that. You guys have seen me tweet it out about that, okay? They come up with some names for their projects that is just, that is just crazy, okay? I got my Indian driver in the car now, so. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Where are we going to Mumbai? Turn now, stop. <laughs> All right, man, I got to finish this video, bro. <laughs> okay, so that's it. All right, guys, I had to pause the video for a moment there as we were uh, coming out of our residence here in um, the, an area known as uh, Buckhead in Atlanta. All right, so as I was saying, guys, um, NXT has been under the radar and they have been uh, lurking in the bushes and now they're about to come out and I have... Um, I want you guys to be aware of this No matter what I say about NXT. There's a disclaimer guys that you guys have to be aware of now many of you guys may or may not know that I'm one of the original co-founders of the NXT foundation I was one of the original people to promote NXT when it first came out. I was invited to speak at the um, at the um, at the first uh, Texas uh, Bitcoin conference and speak there, I have a crazy ass Indian driver, man. If you guys know a better driver, let me know. Anyways, guys, um, so I was, uh, uh, myself and leonfood.com were invited to speak at the first Texas Bitcoin conference. And so, obviously, and I'm an investor in NXT from the very beginning. I'm not one of the original uh, 70 stakeholders of NXT but I am an early investor myself in leonfood.com. So whatever we say, guys, you guys have to understand that there's probably going to be a personal bias if I was a, uh, a, a co-founder, one of the original co-founders of the NXT Foundation and an early investor in the NXT. I'm just sharing that with you guys so that you guys, uh, under, uh, if you guys think there's a conflict of interest, you're welcome to believe that. Just giving you guys a heads up on that, okay? So now the disclaimer is out of the way. One of the problems that NXT, we'll call it the old version, which is NXT 1.0, one of the problems that we had with that uh, software was that every time a business wanted to create their custom token or their own network, it was extremely difficult, okay? Uh, the, the difficulty comes in having a team of uh, software engineers to secure the network, uh, to have um, a lot of nodes, uh, to secure the uh, the entire network. So what happens is they came out with a brilliant plan to create NXT 2.0 where the original NXT network uh, or blockchain becomes the, the actual um, blockchain that secures the network and it only secures the network. And then they have several, um, all the features that the NXT, the current NXT platform uh, has it will be put onto what's called a child blockchain or a child chain okay so all these child chains will have their own custom tokens and if a, a new business or a new company wants to uh, have a um, wants to have a um, a uh, their own uh, their own uh, uh, token or their own blockchain they can create it and they don't have to worry about securing their network because the, the security will be done by the main blockchain, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? So be aware of that.
okay so this Hello? week coming up guys i'm gonna have a uh Hello? i just want to make a quick announcement guys that this week on saturday at uh 10 a.m eastern time uh, which is 2 p.m gmt time i'm gonna have a uh, investor question and oh, answer you, with um one of the original uh co-founders one of the uh, uh co-founders of the nxt foundation his it's name dead. is uh, bass uh, whistling oh, and he goes so by the up? handle of Damalon on the uh, uh, forums okay so be looking out for that guys I'll have the link in the description of this and uh, that way he can go into more detail about the problems oh, that uh, that NXT 1.0 face and then uh, what the solutions are oh, for uh, NXT uh, 2.0 okay. will provide okay so just be aware of that guys um, I'll invite so you guys funny. to join you anything, if you're huh? thinking about nice. investing into it okay. or you're thinking about you when you um, So be looking out for the uh, the link in the description guys and join us on the investor Q&A um, If you guys are interested in uh, the new uh, NXT uh, 2.0 uh, called uh, Ardor and I'm going to create a separate uh, series of videos guys uh, moving forward to separate the uh, you know once Ardor comes out that will probably be the main um, the main uh, uh, series that I'll, uh, I'll switch over and probably end the series on the the NXT for investors and just start up a new series called Ardor uh, for investors okay because the uh, old blockchain uh, will become the main security and that will not I don't think that will be traded as much based on my understanding everybody will be trading the tokens that's going to be coming out on the uh, the uh, the uh, child chains and if you have any questions on what's going to happen with your if you are a current NXT investor or holder and you want to know what is going to happen to your current NXTs um, I invite you to um, join us on the investor Q&A and we'll answer that for you. Um, we're gonna talk about, during that Q&A, uh, Bass and I will discuss the current platform limitations of NXT 1.0. We're gonna talk about the, uh, the uh, proposed solutions that they are going to have to solve that problem. And then um, we're gonna talk about the implementation details so that, that the current NXT investors and the current NXT holders, so that they can, uh, um, so that they can, uh, transition from NXT 1.0 over to uh, NXT 2.0 okay um, the other things that we'll also talk about is the gains and the benefits the, uh, the advantages and the disadvantages of the old uh, NXT 1.0 and the new NXT 2.0 so be aware of that guys we got a lot of stuff that's uh, it's gonna be discussed it'll be a 60-minute discussion and I'll look forward to seeing you guys there at the uh, investor Q&A. The last one that we had with uh, Sasha from the creator of the uh, Waves platform, we set new records uh, 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 for live viewers. Um, usually we have about, I think, uh, less than 100. And uh, this, uh, the last one we had with Sasha about the Waves platform uh, to discuss what happened after the ICO, we had nearly 200 uh, 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 live viewers. So, and then after that, the archive video, we had uh, over a thousand uh, views on it within like the first couple of hours, which was a record for our channel. And so in this one, I'm looking forward to breaking that uh, record, having new uh, uh, viewers on for the uh, uh, NXT 2.0 release, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys at the uh, Investor Q&A this Saturday, and look forward to... Uh, answering your questions with uh, Bass uh, Whistling, the uh, NXT Foundation uh, co-founder. And uh, if you guys have any friends or family or colleagues that are new to cryptocurrencies and want to learn more about how to invest in cryptocurrencies, make sure that you share our channel with them. It's the number one most popular and fastest growing cryptocurrency investing channel on the internet. And uh, we look forward to seeing you then.